What's going on guys? Welcome back to this episode of Customs with Vic. For today's episode, we're gonna be customizing this Air Force One by giving it a Phoenix Suns treatment. I've been a diehard fan of the Phoenix Suns since I was a kid. This year we have a magnificent team. We got Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton, Chris Paul, Monty Williams, and so many more key players. We also got some brand new jerseys for this year. They're super sick, best jerseys we ever had. We're gonna take full inspiration from those jerseys and apply it to this custom. We're gonna take the gradient, the pixelated gradient, and apply it to the toe box, the valley, the Suns logo, all those colors. We got some work ahead of us, so let's get started. First step as always you guys, we gotta get started with the prep work. But first, we're gonna put this shoe to the side for before and after purposes. Next, we're gonna take out our shoelaces, insole, and start removing all the factory finish using some acetone. All right, all done with that, now onto some taping. We're gonna tape off the entire white sole to avoid getting any paint on there or getting dirty. It's super white, so I hate working on a custom and getting the midsole dirty as I go. Prep was complete, we're getting closer to the painting. But before we do that, right now the swatches are in the way, on this panel right here and on the inside as well, we're gonna be laying down a really cool pixelized gradient, but the swooshes are in the way. I could tape around it and paint around it, but it gets a little tricky. Um, this is something I never really do, but I'm gonna do so anyway. I'm gonna remove part of the swoosh, just kind of slap it back, tape around it and paint. Once it's all painted, I'm gonna go back and re-sew it back onto the shoe. All right, so here's where we're at. We got both airbrushes fully cleaned up. Took a little bit of time to fully take them apart, clean the insides fully out. I've done like 20 or 15 projects with these airbrushes. It was a time for a full cleanup. Now we're ready to go. For the custom, we already went ahead and removed the swooshes a little bit, got all the prep work done. Now let's get started with the painting. Like I said, we're gonna be recreating the pixelized gradient on the actual Suns jerseys onto the shoe. So here we have the Suns jerseys that we're gonna be recreating. We have the gradient up here, the valley, the black, the purple such a sick ass jersey right here we have the graphic that julian created for us it's already in the creek cut all we got to do is print it out using of course our creek cut maker so we went ahead and printed our stencils out i went ahead and placed the first one on the toe box it's kind of hard to tell but it's on there this is the first of many we're going to be recreating this pattern all around the toe box and both side panels it's going to be a long tedious step our stencils down we're going to start off by laying down our first color which is our yellow after that we'll move on to our orange red then purple eventually <laughs> First part is laid down, you guys. Let me show you guys where we're at. Boom, we got our first line down. We got a million more to go. It's looking pretty crispy. Let's keep it going. We're going up the ladder, you guys. We're on to the second coat of the orange. We're about to move on to the third line. I added a little bit of yellow on the second line to start giving it that gradient effect. On the third line, I'm gonna add a little bit of red just so I can keep it moving up. After we're done with the orange, we're gonna move on to the red, then purple, and then a the blue, and then we'll move on to both panels on the sides. We still got a lot of work, let's keep it moving. Here's where we're at, you guys. We got four colors down, yellow, orange, red, and purple. These are all different shades. Um, it was pretty easy to do, but a very time consuming. I had to apply a stencil, remove it, reapply, remove, reapply, so on, so on. As I was taping, I was also changing the color of the paint in the airbrush, but this is where we're at. I got one more row to go. It's gonna be more of a navy blue, and then I'll go in and apply the black on the top part and the bottom.
Check it out, you guys. We got the gradient down. Swatches are still off. We're not going to be re recreating that gradient on those sides. It's just too much work. But we are going to do some other stuff. Tune in. Patches off the tongue. While I was doing that, our graphic designer sent over designs for this custom. Again, we got the valley back here, Phoenix in the back area, the rosters on both sides panels. All I got to do now is print it out. We'll be using the Krika cutter. Boom, we got our stencils fully cut out. Now let's weed them out. If you guys didn't know already, I use a Creek Cut Cutter for all my stencils. It's definitely the way to go. I highly recommend it. All right, we got our stencils. Now we're gonna apply them to the shoe. But before we do that, we're gonna lay down some purple paint. But before we do that, we gotta do some taping. All right guys, we're all taped up. For this part, we'll be using our airbrush and some bright purple paint from Jacquard. The purple base goes good to go on both sides. Now let's move on back to our stencils. We got Monty Williams in the bench and the rest of the starting lineup. The starting line is going to go on the outside panel. The bench is going to go on the inside. Same thing we're going to do is grab some transfer paper, place it over the purple to cover it up, and then go back in and lay down some black paint. All right, you guys. So for this part, I went ahead and split up the top portion and the bottom portion of the names just so it could be easier to lay down on the shoe without it getting all warped. All right, we got our stencil applied to the transfer paper. Now we're going to peel off the backing so we could apply it onto the shoe. First part of the stencils are good to go. A lot of the letters did not make it inside the panel. That's okay, it's supposed to look like that. It's gonna be a subtle detail once the black paint is laid down. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing over here. All right, we got our stencils laid down on both sides of the shoe. This is how it's supposed to look like. A lot of the letters did not make it inside this panel. That's okay. It's gonna be a very subtle detail because I'm gonna go in and lay down some black paint over the stencils. Once I remove the stencils, the letters are gonna be purple. I'll show you guys in just a bit how it's gonna look. That looks super dope, you guys. Both sides are good to go. We do gotta go back and touch it up, but we'll do that later. The purple and black look super dope together. They contrast nicely. Now, I know I kind of messed up by removing the swooshes on both sides of the shoe. That's okay. We're gonna grab the sewing machine now and restitch this part. Good to go with that. We got the swooshes back onto the shoe. Now let's continue painting. We're gonna tape off the swooshes or actually tape around the swooshes so we can lay down our orange paint and then move on to other stencils on the shoe. All taped up once again. Now for this color, we're gonna be mixing some bright red, bright orange, and some fluorescent orange to create this really vibrant orange, just like the jerseys. This color is gonna go on the swooshes and the back tab. That orange looks great, you guys. Now just remove the tape so we can move on to the next step. Also, don't forget, when you guys are painting, make sure to wear a mask, because right now I forgot to put it on in the beginning of this step, and I inhaled a lot of orange. I'm sure my burgers are orange right now. We're 
looking good, you guys. I'm definitely loving how it's looking. The orange really pops on this custom. Now, onto some more taping. The next part we're gonna do is tape off around the soft liner and tongue so we can lay down our bright purple from Jacquard. Purple's fully laid down, looks super vibrant. Now we're gonna go ahead and lay down our black paint on this area right here and up here. Boom, check it out. We got the black laid down. It looks super crispy all around, you guys. Check out the line work all around. No black where there shouldn't be. Again, this looks so dope. The orange and the purple and the black go so good together. Once this custom's all done, it's gonna be definitely one of my favorites, mainly because it's a Phoenix Suns custom. Now, I'm sure you guys already noticed by now, my brand new Vic Almighty hat. This hat is everything to me, you guys. You guys know I wear hats every single day. So to finally have a Vic Almighty hat, inspired by the Suns colorway, it is super dope to me. This hat is super limited, so if you wanna get one now, hit the description down below. Now let's get back to this custom. The next thing we gotta do is lay down some stencils. Over here, we got the Valley and Phoenix. The Valley's gonna go right here, Phoenix is gonna go in the back. We also got this cactus that's gonna go on the side. We're gonna lay those down and then lay down the paint. All right, we have our stencil applied. Now let's tape around it so we can lay down our white paint. All right, Valley boys. The Valley's on, it's looking crispy. Now we're gonna do the exact same step, but with the Phoenix logo. That's gonna go right back here. We're getting there, you guys. We went ahead and laid down the black paint on the tongue, removed the tape off the midsoles, this custom starting to look complete. We still gotta go in and add some more details. We still gotta add a patch to this tongue, do some more painting on the uppers. But right now we're gonna focus on these midsoles. We're gonna go in using some yellow jacquard paint and a small angler brush and simply dye all the stitching all around the midsole. It's gonna be tedious, but not too bad. If we get any paint on the midsole, we got our Rejuvenator sneaker wipes to so simply wipe it off. Stitching's good to go, now on to the next step. Using some yellow paint and black paint, we're gonna go ahead and paint the air and the lines around it with a small angular brush. So this complete, you guys. We added the yellow to the air, gave it that black line all around, it's starting to look complete. Now, if you guys have noticed, I went ahead and wiped off the valley off the back heel. I did not like the placement at all. It's kind of hard to tell when it was all taped up when I laid down the stencil. After I removed the stencil and did all the touch-ups, didn't really like it, so I went ahead and reprinted the stencil. I'm just gonna move it a little bit up and made it a little bit bigger. 
While we do that, we're also gonna be laying down this second stencil. This is a little Nike swoosh. That's gonna go right here. Once it's all laid down, we're gonna lay down some white paint. That looks a lot better, you guys. We redid the valley part back here, made it a little bit bigger, centered it a bit more. It looks a million times better. Same thing with this Nike swoosh. This Nike swoosh looks so sick. The last thing we gotta do, you guys, is work on this tongue before we wrap this custom up. Over here, I got this piece of leather cut out. We're gonna be laying down a Phoenix Suns logo right on it. Pretty much what I'm gonna do is paint it black and then give it the classic Suns logo. You'll see it in just a second. All right guys, on to the last step. I went ahead and painted the patch already. Last step you gotta do is apply it onto the shoe using a sewing machine. So you can see right here, we have it stuck on there with a little bit of glue. All we gotta do now is lay down a simple little line of stitching. That is gonna bring us to an end on these custom Phoenix Suns Air Force Ones. Originally, we started off with a blank canvas and ended up with this beautiful Phoenix Suns The Valley Custom. This is a custom that I'm super excited about. I've been a huge Phoenix Suns fan since I was little, so to finally do a Suns Custom on a shoe, it's everything to me. This custom came out so sick, just like their jerseys. Again, I already said this in the beginning, but their jerseys are so sick. This shoe just flows so smoothly. My favorite part about this custom was definitely the toe box. It was the hardest part by far. We used about 10 different stencils and several different colors to create this. It required several touch ups but it came out super dope. Originally, I was gonna recreate that pattern onto both sides of the shoe, but that was gonna take way too long, so I went ahead and added the Suns roster on both sides. In my opinion, I think that looks a little bit cleaner. It's very subtle, and it goes with the sock liner perfect. The sock liner looks good, it's super vibrant. Same thing with this orange swooshes and back piece. Check that out, that Phoenix. Same thing with the patch. We got the Shooting Phoenix Suns logo. Of course, we got the Valley over here. A white Nike check to balance out the white. The midsole came out super dope. Same thing with the yellowing stitching all around. This custom is definitely one of my favorites and it's definitely gonna go right over there. Don't forget you guys, we also have our Phoenix Sun inspired Vic Almighty hat on sale on the website right now. This is the first Vic Almighty hat to ever release, so it's super limited edition. Go buy yours now. This is Vic. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you guys next Monday.